you nearly lost quite an important job. Absolutely, yeah. I was um, I was playing a game called World of Warcraft. And, I've heard uh, of all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I, I missed the call from Zack Snyder to tell me I got Superman. <gasps> but, like, did you hear the phone ringing? I did. And you chose to ignore it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> did you win the video game? <laughs> Sadly, no. <laughs> but I did call Zach back afterwards. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. that was wise. Yeah. Um, wow, that's a lot of silver. Uh, are you very hot? I feel a little bit like a rotisserie chicken, but <laughs> other than that, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Sounding great, looking fabulous. Thank you. Uh, like Dame Julie Andrews, you now have two Grammys. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, You, did you, you perform them? Did you perform them tonight? I did, yeah. So, what is that? I mean, that must be so stressful oh, to be up yeah. for awards oh, and having to perform and it's all live. It's terrifying, yeah. honestly. Must be. Um, and I only found out I was going to perform on the Grammys a week before the Grammys. Oh, mm. yeah. So, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to I literally didn't have time to think about anything. I was just like, okay, I'm going on the Grammys. Don't mess this up. <laughs> so, where's the Grammy now? Oh, yes, good oh, question. Yes. It's at home. Where? Um, In the attic? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it, it's it's in my living room. Nice. Oh, God. both of them, right? Yes. Yes, you have got both. I do. Are they beside each other? Or are they nice? Are they bookends? No, what they're next to each other. Next. They'd be lonely otherwise. They would they? be really lonely. Yeah. <laughs> What's one Grammy? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sure there are more Grammys in your future. Thank you for that fabulous performance, Thank and you so uh, much. good luck That's with the album. Fun. Do a leap, everybody. <laughs> Now, you've been married, have you been married 30 years yet? Uh, not yet. Close. Very close. 20, 29. Never gonna make oh. it. Those <laughs> Never gonna make it. Yeah. Good. Um, now, uh, in your book, you, you tell a story of uh, young love. I think you were on your honeymoon in Europe. <laughs> yes. And you were on a... Was it, you were driving, but on a train. We went to our travel agent to talk about this. We were mid-30s when we got married. And we knew that we wanted to start a family, so this was like it. We wanted this honeymoon to be really spectacular. <laughs> Spent five weeks in Europe, and it was all over. So we started in Switzerland. We were going to rent a car and then go to Italy. And the travel agent says, oh, by the way, instead of driving around the Alps up and over, you take a train. It's a flatbed car. It takes three cars bumper to bumper on a flatbed car. And then they put, you know, you, and then you go through the Alps. By the way, he says, wink, wink, there are three tunnels. The first tunnel is about five minutes. The second tunnel is about eight to ten minutes. <laughs> the third tunnel is 50 minutes long. Oh. If you're a honeymooner, and I said, say no more. <laughs> this, 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 I'll give you the So I told my wife, and she exhaled and said, okay. <laughs> we, we actually, we're on the train. There's a, a van in front of us with a bunch of Italian families in front. And behind us, I mean, as close as you are, I can see the people behind us. Uh, two couples, two Italian couples. Uh, and so we, we start going and we go into the... And it's a massive experience, emotionally and physically. <laughs> and the wind is whipping through and it's pitch dark. You cannot see oh, anything. Wow. And it's, it's fascinating. And we come out of the tunnel into the station, and I say to Robin, that's one. <laughs> we go up, we start again, we go through the second. <laughs> pitch dark, can't see anything. We come out of it, that's two. <laughs> and she's like, oh, God. <laughs> we start the third tunnel, wait till it's absolutely pitch dark. Here we go. <laughs> it's a small rental with a stick shift. And I'm, like, trying to get my trousers off. <laughs> She's trying to lower her chair. <laughs> and, I'm, and we can't see anything. You cannot see anything. So it's all by feel. <laughs> and it's, like, it's awesome. And Amazing. Uh, one thing I learned for sure is that <laughs> never be completely nude when transferring from one seat over the stick shifter. <laughs> Keep your trousers on and, and, and do it afterward. Then decant. Well, you know. See, funny, I would recommend it, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, go on. <laughs> so we are in flagrante, as they say, 
and uh, I don't know where to put my hands or something. And my wife is just, come on, just, you know. Now, what's happening is that uh, my eyes are adjusting. I can see her profile. She's a beautiful woman. Love her with all my heart. And I can see her, and it's her pretty face, and it's great. And I think the eyes are, are getting, <laughs> no, the eyes aren't getting used to total pitch black. What happened is that we were coming to a station, and we came, <laughs> boom, sunlight, everything. <laughs> Imagine I'm like this, <laughs> right, on top of my head. <laughs> and I can see the the two couples, the Italian couples, in in the car behind us with their wine. And And the women are going, stop it, stop it. And, and, and my wife says those three words to you, who every husband wants to hear. Get. Off me. <laughs> <laughs> so I get off the Italian family, the, the grandmother's turning the heads of the children, <laughs> and I'm struggling to put my trousers back on. And, and I never found out, we never found out, if this was a gag, if he would, if this travel agent did this on purpose, <laughs> knew all along it wasn't 50 minutes, it was more like 15. <laughs> 15 minutes, though, man. 15. <laughs> but, Bryce, what's your connection to Ireland? Are the Howards something you do with Ireland? I mean, like, I don't know if you can tell. I might have some connection to Ireland genetically. Um, but my, my dad shot far and away there when I was 10 years old. Ooh. And we lived in Dingle, Ireland. And there was a there was a, a dolphin, a wild dolphin. Fungi. Fungi the dolphin. And I got to swim with Fungi the Dolphin, as many people who in Ireland. go there. What? A wild dolphin. And I when we were shooting Jurassic, the first Jurassic, mm -hmm. I was thinking about Fungi the Dolphin and I looked it up and he was still alive. They say Aww. that. I um <laughs> Yeah. There's a dolphin called Fungi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They all like, kind of look alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's him. Yeah. Fungi. He remembers you. Look. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, you were starting off in, in wrestling, you had a persona that, am I right, was sort of half man, half machine. Was that yes, the idea? Yes, that's correct. Yes. It this was, was prototype. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you, uh, you want to try to find a persona, or here's some more inside baseball for it, a gimmick. Oh. Where is a, is it describes you as a character, so like when you walk out, people notice you, and they kind of, you can describe your character. But in. these are not gimmicks, these, this is real. Well, well, I mean, if they work, it's, yes. But you kind of, it's, it's a it's trial and error process with a lot of errors. And, uh, and my first try was uh, the prototype, which was half man and half machine, and 100% crap. But given that you're not half a machine, how did you demonstrate you were a machine? Well, I, I used this ability to talk rather monotone and would say things authoritative and just when I said I would kick your ass at the fairgrounds on Sunday, I would rewind it and say it again for you. Right? I would kick your ass at the fairgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work? <laughs> you... No. <laughs> Oh, it didn't. That's a good but, but, one. Yeah, but it, but, but it the, worked on one. I have one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. You found like, huge success as John Cena. Imagine that. I figure I need to come up with some sort of name. Yeah, look, every, doesn't every, every wrestler has a name? Yes, it? and people think that, like, hey, man, how'd you make up the name John Cena? I was like, no, dude, I would have made up, like, Dick Hammerbush or something cool like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dick Hammer. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> That's a star. No one's moving there. No one's letting you go out with that, no. <laughs> but uh, they actually think that John Cena is a, a gimmick name. But no, that's actually... <laughs> through all the, the presentation that is WWE, I'm and, stuck and, with John Cena. Are you a wrestling fan, Jamie? I used to love wrestling uh, when we were much younger, about the same time as Transformers. Back in the day, we had Big Daddy. <laughs> yeah. The Giant Haystack. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, I used to love it. I thought it was just fantastic. By the way, I'm John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> all, these, all these awesome names. <laughs> you know, the ultimate drooler or, like, no, nothing. <laughs>
And Johnson. wrestlers like to have uh, signature moves and things. Yes. And one of yours is the, you can't see me. But That's that, correct. Is that true that came out of your family somehow? Yeah, I was, I was dared to do it. So I was actually making the music for my own theme song that you just so heard and finally serenaded me to. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and we played it for my brother. And the first time he heard it, this was uh, the, the uh, 50 Cent's crew uh, had a, a really popular song called In the Club. And he heard it the first time, and instead of dancing, like he was our litmus test to see what songs were good and what songs were bad, he did this. Oh my God. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, no, everybody does this, man. Everybody does this. And I guess this was from 50 Cent's video. And he's like, you won't do it on TV. I said, what the hell do I gotta lose? Am I gonna fire me? Of course I'll do it on TV. <laughs> but instead of doing this, I did this. <laughs> and now, for 15 years, <laughs> because of a dare, <laughs> I've been doing this. <laughs> and I'll do you one better. People actually think I'm invisible. There will be people <laughs> to look at this couch and be like, why is there nobody next to McConaughey? <laughs> you said John Cena would be there, but we can't see him. <laughs> so, you, you never know. You remember Hacksaw Jim Duggan's and King Kong Bundy, yes. Skandar Act, yeah. Bars, and Von Eric. Care Von Erics and Carrie the Claw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I got kicked out of Texas Hirsch Coliseum. We're talking Texas wrestling. I get kicked yeah. out of Hirsch Coliseum in Shreveport for pelting Skandar Akbar with a bag of tomatoes on the apron. <laughs> Skandar Akbar was a man dressed as a sheik that used to throw fire. Yes. And he managed King Kong Bundy, who yes. was like 484 pounds. And remember the missing Leotard link from Singer. Parts Unknown? Yep. And, oh, remember yeah, the green oh. face, Ooh. spit green mist? They sound really good. Good stuff. Yeah. It's, it's entertaining. It was so much it's fun. And, and I'm John Cena. <laughs> but he's got King this. Kong Bundy. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> the thing, you've made yourself into, you know, uh, a big action star. You you do all this stuff now, but it sounds like you got an early start. You grew up with these four brothers. Yes. And you think, oh, four brothers, a bit of rough and tumble. Your house sounds more than that. It was intense. Uh, it was, I mean, we were living on the edge of survival most of the time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my dad, and my dad, some of you may have heard this before, my, my dad came home from work uh, once upon a time and <laughs> he realised that the wallpaper had changed and this pissed him off a little bit. So he was like, hold on a second, why are you changing the wallpaper without any kind of um, discussion about it? And so he went to my mum and said, uh, why, why'd we change the wallpaper? And she quite simply just said, it's easier to clean the blood off this wallpaper. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like, when games involve blood splatter, I feel <laughs> like that's... We, that's a... It was a lot of rough and tumble. Never any <laughs> punching in the face. That was the rule. No face punches, but there's still Just a lot stabbing. of bleeding. Just stabbing. <laughs> Just stabbing. <laughs> I mean, when you, have, when you have stairs, a lot can happen. A lot of injuries can happen I on mean... stairs. <laughs>